Lord bless you so much as you take time to watch your favorite program, All Around Growth on Air. I sure know that as you take steps of obedience to these things you've been listening to, as you pray about them, and you adjust your life to them, I know the Lord will bless your life. You don't need a pastor to pray before God bless your life. You too can pray. That's the purpose of being a Christian. You grow in your faith to the extent that you have direct access to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You can approach the throne of grace boldly and tell God what you need. And He will answer you in a very, very mighty way. Now, continuing with this program today, I want to start a series again on who is the disciple of Jesus? Who is a disciple of Jesus Christ? I want to be answering those uh, answering that question every week for the next couple of weeks. Who is a disciple of Jesus Christ? Of course, in the Bible, Jesus told his disciples, his very first disciples, the 12 disciples he chose. He said, Go into the world and make disciples and teach all men for me and disciple them for me. So discipleship is very important. And there are a lot of people, a lot of believe, a lot of pastors. A lot of church leaders today who have their own disciples also, not necessarily the disciple of Jesus. And there are a lot of Christians who are professing to be born again, to be children of God today, who are not really the disciples of Jesus. But rather, we are disciples of our bishops, we are disciples of our apostles, we are disciples of our Jerusalem, we are disciples of our pastors. We are disciples of various kinds of doctrines and various kinds of denominations. But as a man whom God has called to teach growth and to practice growth, I need to tell you from the scripture, what does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus? Because you can be the disciple of all these people I've mentioned, and yet you are not yet a disciple of Jesus. You can be a disciple of John the Baptist, and yet you are not a disciple of Jesus. You can be a disciple of one man, one religious leader or the other, and yet not a disciple of Jesus. You can be a disciple of one church, and yet you are not a disciple of Jesus. That's why today, people can die for their churches. They can die for their denomination. They can die for their geo. They can die for their bishop. They can die for their apostle. They can die for their pastors, but they cannot die for Jesus. But if you are a disciple of Jesus, you can die for Jesus. So today, let's start and start looking at this systematically who is a disciple of Jesus? Firstly, let's look at a disciple. A disciple is a learner, is a pupil, is an adherent, is a devotee of a person. A disciple is a learner, is an apprentice, is a pupil, is an adherent. A disciple imitates and lives according to the person and the teaching of his master. So if you are a disciple of Jesus, you must live according to the teachings of Jesus, you must learn of Jesus, you must follow Jesus, you must imitate Jesus. If you are a disciple of Jesus, you must read the words of Jesus, you must practice the teachings of Jesus, you must follow Jesus very closely. Jesus must be your master in everything. It is him you must obey. His words must be the final bitter in your life. A true disciple of Jesus, therefore, must display the following characteristics I want to show, share with you. I'll share one or two with you today and will continue in subsequent weeks. A disciple of Jesus is someone who has had a live encounter with Jesus. You met him one on one, like Paul the Apostle in Acts chapter 9. He was a religious person and there are a lot of religious people. There are a lot of people who go to church today but they are not disciples of Jesus. But to be a disciple of Jesus, you must have an encounter with Jesus. You must be converted. You must be saved. Jesus must have transformed your life. Remove the power of sin from your life. Wash your heart clean. You are no more under guilt and condemnation. Because that's what happened to Apostle Paul. His life was changed for better. That's what happened to Apostle Peter. Ah, he got converted. His life was transformed. Jesus saved him. But at a point, he backslided and denied Jesus. But he came back again and Jesus restored him. He was transformed. So a disciple of Jesus, first and foremost, is somebody that has an encounter with Jesus. You don't only hear about Jesus. You don't preach about Jesus. They don't tell you about him. You know him one on one. That's a disciple of Jesus. Number two, a disciple of Jesus is someone who knows Christ 
personally and intimately. In Mark 3:14, he said he called his disciple after praying that he called so that they would be with him. A disciple is someone who learns about Jesus, who knows Jesus, who obeys Jesus, who preaches Jesus, who lives according to the words of Jesus. That is a true disciple. It takes grace to get there. A disciple of Jesus is somebody that has done away with everything that annoys Jesus, everything Jesus died for. A disciple of Jesus will not crucify Jesus the second time by living in sin, by backsliding, by becoming cold and lukewarm, by fashioning himself according to the affairs of this life. A true disciple of Jesus focuses on Jesus. Jesus is in his heart and people can see Jesus in your life, in your conduct, in your behavior, in your character. I pray that you receive grace to grow to that level so that you become a true disciple of Jesus. Not disciple of John the Baptist or any follower of Jesus, but the direct disciple of Jesus. Because those are people that Jesus that will please Jesus and Jesus will bless. Don't forget, the conference is still waiting. In a few weeks' time, we'll be at this uh, Kingdom Minister, Kingdom Ministry Conference. Actually, it's season two. It's for serious Christians, serious believers, pastors, church leaders, and ministers. It's all about how our life can become better, how we can live the kingdom lifestyle and minister the kingdom lifestyle here. It's first week of September. All the details are on your screen and you can see the advert there. Take advantage of that. Make sure you are there. The Lord bless you and make you a disciple of our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hello out there. I am Francis Bola Akijo, a church consultant of 25 years standing. You can invite me to your local churches, to your denomination, to your pastoral conferences, for consultation, for consultancy, for seminars, teachings and training on healthy local churches so that our churches can grow across Africa. The Lord bless you. I await your invitation.